Hi, David Wiegener here. It's the 5th of June 2017. Okay, and the time is 10.30 a.m. Here is a little bit of pictures from from the um, Aotearoa New Zealand um, book I've got. Which is this is um, Nori Groves. He's a gold penner. Here he is in his element. No, no, it's not his element. You can see he's got a sugar there and he's probably having a coffee. Don't know if it's Pam's coffee. And then there's some um, there's some uh, gold panning equipment. A sleuth, I think. Is it a sleuth? <clears throat> there he is there. So it's quite a bit on him. And here is him with the gold panning. Right, now, then, real quickly, we've got uh, we've got driftwood that's on East Cape in the North Island but on the west coast on the west coast of New Zealand in uh, uh, Hokitika or Greymouth you can go on the beach but I don't know if you can take anything out of New Zealand through customs but the beach is full of driftwood all sorts of different looking I think you can I'm not sure but I'm not sure and then there's horses running free so this is all about the beach this, these two pictures horses running free and that on the east cape as well okay right my chess lesson for today right I don't even know yet I don't even know what it is <clears throat> but it is cold here in Christchurch so it is cold here in Christchurch so and I've got my Pam's coffee here yay um, so it is cold here in Christchurch, but that's fair enough, it is winter, it's the fifth day of winter. And uh, so anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get on with this game today. And uh, believe it or not, I've lost my glasses again, I don't know where they are, but I've checked Teddy, but I can't find, I, I've checked Kiwi, but I can't find them anywhere. Is that where they're gone? You've got your camouflaged kiwi, because you've got. Oh, that's right. You, you cold. You complained about the cold yesterday, so it's so cold. So better not take your blanket off, but I'll just take my glasses because I need them. Please, can I have them back? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're just going to move you out the way now, and we'll see you next time. Bye, T. Bye, kiwi. Right, here's that name again, that guy, Karasek versus Triggerin. I'm going to flip the board, so you all know what that means when I flip the board. Now, some, <coughs> some um, recommendation from Nigel Short is to not do that. Uh, Nigel Short says, play the player that suits you. In um, his book, one of his books that he writes, Grandmaster um, Candidate World Champion a while back, Nigel Short, he says to not um, <clears throat> to not um, go out of the ballpark of who you study. Who you find you so that's a bit similar to what I'm saying about um, play your own move, but that's also um, study the player that suits your style. Anyway, here we go. Oh, we 
put the engine on. Looks similar to the other game the other day. Yes, it is similar because it's the same one, although here Black's playing Knight C6, not D5 like they did in the other game the other day. Here comes a, a typical move in reply which I've learnt from um, Nimzovich's book as well. So that if the bishop moves here now, the knight has a station on e4 for black. Bishop g4 attacking the queen first, then queen d3 and knight h5 now white plays knight h3 knight b4 queen c3 it's getting a bit knobbly knight a6 all these old guys Oh, this game, by the way, was played at Budapest, October 1896. Budapest, October 1896. Nearly 121 years ago. Bishop A4 check, Bishop E2, Bishop A4 check. <sighs> now, if just some sort of move like this, okay, white hair's got this move actual and then the king has to move up the queen's no good up here because of queen takes a8 except to where white wins material <coughs> excuse me again no, I haven't got a cold. You can't catch a cold off me. Well, you can catch a cold off me if I got one, but not over the net. But some people would worry. I'd get a bit so like, have you got a cold? I'd be watching a video. Have you got a cold to the person on the video? Have you got a cold? Yeah, I've got a cold, a real terrible flu. Oh, I've got to run. I'm so paranoid about colds. <laughs> you asked my mum, but anyway, what is it? Bishop a4. So we'll just go back here. Bishop a4 check. C6. Main line. You know that computer. Bishop c6 check. Almost asking for that move. Knight takes pawn, which I do see this happening because it looks quite, quite cool. Now, if Bishop takes, then Knight takes looks quite nice for White, because they're threatening Bishop G5 check, and then, uh, then have we got the checkmate there? Wins the queen anyway. So that's threatening. 
Night tax pawn. Now the knight takes back. Bishop takes new mainline. You should know the computer you have a PC. You must have seen this game. Bishop f4 h6. And white just continues with knight c3. Not worried about bishop takes here. Because of this strong move, knight takes pawn, knight d5, check. Now the king has to react, it can't move. Because if it, if this queen wasn't here, it's check, check only, and not checkmate Dave. But if there's, say, a knight, or a rook, or a bishop, or something like that. No, not a rook. But a knight or a bishop, it's checkmate. So if the queen here is a knight or a bishop, or a pawn, which can't be, or another knight or another bishop, it's checkmate because the king can't move and they can't take this pawn. Whereas in this position, black would be forced to take this. And then it's a very big advantage white because of even if the bishop on f1 it retreats wherever it goes here is just about the only square then white just plays queen a8 next move after queen d5 bishop e2 queen a queen d5 queen takes a8 so that's no good for black h6 knight c3 so we're going knight c3 bishop c4 now what am I doing this time oh he's done that bishop c4 and the computer didn't say anything e6 <coughs> Rook c8. <laughs> Bishop c7. Now let's see what happens here. Let's look at the basics. Queen takes. Rook takes. King takes, Rook takes, that's pretty clear. Knight takes here is what I would consider the best, but it isn't. Because you've got Rook here, take, and then White merely plays. Um, can't play that, Dave, duh. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do with the drunken sailor? do here mm, that's all right but it doesn't matter just move the queen out here and the queen has to move here I think that's what I think anyway I might be wrong I might not be seeing something here do this check Now that's starting to look pretty reasonable because after queen, after rook c8, as if king here, then knight d5 and white starts to liquidate the black forces. So we'll have a look at other lines now. Bishop c7, what a cool move to play, eh? Now, if this new variation computer rook f7 checkmate, okay. <clears throat> mm, go away, please. 
Right, now Rook F7. Checkmate. So I have Rook C7. New variation. You should know this isn't the main line. Checkmate again. So the only move here is Queen C7 because it gives the king a flight square here on d7. Okay, now I'm going to look at the basics now. I didn't look at this, did I? Check. Check. Duh. David didn't see it. Just the east just took the queen. Check. Now, if the queen takes, it's obvious queen takes queen on d7 is checkmate. Sorry, people. I didn't look at it. The king here, rook takes, king here, if you want to just deliver checkmate, that's how you do it. You can go here, if you like, or you can go here, that's checkmate. But if you go here, okay. So anyway, we'll go back to bishop c7 check, um, bishop c7. And so, um, bishop c7. came f e6. So this is the main line. You should remember that from the analysis computer. Bishop c7 f e6. Bishop takes queen check, you see. It's check. Rook takes. Now where are uh, everyone going where is everyone going what is happening here now well it's still got their rock on f1 it hasn't been taken but this can be taken now because although it gets a bit troublesome with this knight here this knight's defending checks if it goes here other than here it it's, all, it's probably alright, I don't know, I'm probably just... We've got the next obvious move, which is Queen B7 check, and then we've got the next obvious move, Rook D7, and then we've got the next, next obvious move, Rook F7, because it drives the king away this rook is only defended once by the king and if it moves up it's silly because the queen d7 checkmate or rook d7 checkmate both moves are checkmate if black tries to hang on to defending the pawn rook on d7 even this is queen d7 checkmate or if you want to be mean to your opponent you can go here check and you can't you can because you can still do this but if your opponent still tries to hang on to the defense <laughs> they can't sorry so they go rook here oh, this is just nonsense of course and this is check or this is checkmate okay or this is check depends how you want to play it and you can go king here <coughs> and rook here and you can get this battery happening but I'm just having a bit of fun okay so that's just nonsense analysis but if so what I'm saying is rook f7 to me and probably to you now is obvious that it's not really giving up the rook because as soon as the rook is taken by the black king White has Queen D7 taking the rook. New mainline computer. You should know that's the best move anyway. Queen takes rook, bishop E7. And now comes rook E1, not rook F1, because then black would take the loot and and would be doing okay so white plays rook e1 
Now, what is black going to do about that pawn? Nothing at the moment. B3. Now what? We've got last night I saw I should be taking this for YouTube I saw a heck of a crash happen yesterday and the airbags were deployed and everything like that from the down the road here from my near my mall that I live near and so but now I just hear a fire or probably a police or ambulance P3 King F8 and BC4. That's the end of my session. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, I I hope um, it was okay. Uh, we're at the 22 minute mark.